Uh, it's a pretty cool new feature. You can change the curse to anything you want, really. You can change it right now. Just type in any number. And what I, I just type in a random number. And when you respond, your cursor will be updated to whatever you put in that little box. Now you can change it, but I'm going to teach you how to customize it. Alright, so first step, you got to make the picture for your cursor. Uh, what I have opened up is a... Uh, is the image I provide in the video description. It's uh, I recommend you use it because it's the right portions and the center is drawn so your uh, cursor comes out accurate and not blurry. So I'm just gonna make something real quick. Uh, this is completely uh, um, off the bat. I, mean, I would never do something like this in a real image I use. I like measure out everything and make sure it's perfect. But that's fine I guess. Uh, with some crosshairs. Alright, so that's our so that's our cursor we're gonna make we're gonna use. So save that to a file, whichever one you want, whatever you want to name it. Uh, let's call it new cursor. Go to your uh, home page on Roblox, go to uh what do you got? Go to inventory from that, go to the cows and then click create you'll get you'll get this page and click choose file so like the cursor you just made you can use that now create the cow all right you're gonna open up roblox studio and then click new now we're gonna get that number um that you put into the uh submission box in resistance 3. click this these uh, dual wrenches and then Click here, click my decals. Click the decal you have, new cursor. And then drag it to any of brick. On here, uh, click the brick. Uh, and then click the cal. And then go here. These numbers is are what you're gonna put into that submission box. Alright, so you're gonna be back in resistance three. Uh, open up that game menu again. Go to settings and then choose which one you're going to change the normal cursor or the aim cursor. As you see in when you're in game, the when you right click to bring up the paste, it doesn't come up. So what you do is press control V. Go ahead and respawn. And there you go, you have the new cursor up. If you got any questions then leave them in the comments. I'll I'll answer them as soon as I can. That's this video. Have a good day.